So here we go, my fellow Trekkies. It's a close-up look at the 22nd century Klingon Bird of Prey. This is actually my second take. Um, I actually shot this video quite a few weeks back. Um, unfortunately, quite a while back in fact. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there was something wrong with the uh, uh, when I did the transfer, so I deleted the uh, original file uh, of my phone, um, uh, like you know, after I transferred, and I didn't check it, so therefore I had to do this again. That's okay. Uh, pretty much love this model, even though it's kind of small. Um, that's my hand for comparison. So, as you can see, pretty small. Yep. Okay. So, 22nd century Klingon bird of prey uh, as a small warship. Uh, it's uh, sorry. It is a small warship um, known as the Klingon bird of prey at that point of time. Um, it's one of the earliest class of starship encountered by the Earth Starfleet uh, during the 22nd century. Um, as you can probably guess, this is been seen only in Star Trek Enterprise pre-TOS era. So during Captain Archer and uh, his crew's time. The first time that we see it is um, early 2153 in the episode The Expanse. Okay. Um, however, they have been known, um, they have known some of it by around 2151, I guess. The, the, uh, Starfleet was aware of it at that point of time, I guess, in the episode Sleeping Dogs. So the Bird of Prey was revamped over the next two centuries, and uh, the one that we the, that we kind of know as the actual Bird of Prey was seen first in the uh, Star Trek Three: The Search of Search for Spock, and of course next in all the other Star Trek series after that. Uh, may, maybe not in Voyager, but definitely the other ones. So it's uh, comparable to its sister class, the Raptor Scout and the D5 battle cruiser. Um, it's got pretty much the same uh, bird-like design, avian design, if you may call it. Kind of looks like that. I like that the wings are like you know downswept instead of the the way the other one is. It's kind of like too wide. The bird, the the twenty uh, four sorry, the twenty fourth century bird of prey. Um, it's kind of too wide because of the wings, the way the wings are kept. But this one, because it's downswept, uh, it doesn't take too much space. Uh, it's a small ship anyway, a uh, small model anyway, but it doesn't take too much space on my uh, shelf, which I guess I need another another bit of cleaning. It isn't. It, it usually is quite dusty over here, um, but at the same time, because it's the monsoon season right now, so it's kind of okay. But still, I guess I need, uh, still my, think my shelf needs another dusting, probably by next weekend. Uh, it's already Monday today. Okay, what else? Um, you do have a shuttle bay. Uh, you have uh, impulse engines to warp nacelles, um, and they were the nacelles were connected to the extreme upper aft section of the ship. Okay, uh, let's see anything they've got about tactical. Uh, they have eight, uh, or rather, at least eight forward disruptor banks, including a twin pair of neck mounted uh, disruptor cannons, a pair of wingtip mounted disruptor cannons and a 360 rotating turret containing twin belly mounted disruptor cannons. Okay. The class is also equipped with dual phonon torpedo launchers positioned fore and aft and defensive shields. Uh, you would have seen this in what episodes? Um, the Expanse, Borderland and Cold Station 2. That's Cold Station 12, sorry. Um, but it didn't have too many weapons uh, in the aft section. Uh, so, apparently, the NX series was refitted because it wasn't much of a match for, um, uh, rather, against the against this particular ship. So, um, once it got on, um, uh, you know, refit, uh, the weapons were upgraded, it was m more than a match. Uh, was uh, and they had something on something like a tag pit. I remember that. I'm trying to look up the information online. They did have a tractor beam. Um, and it had a funny enough for a um, for a Klingon ship. They had a docking port at the belly. Um, it had escape pods. Surprisingly for Klingons. Surprising. Um, well, I guess that's all the information I have. Uh, interior design, uh, live food was, yeah, that's what I was looking for. They had live food uh, kept aboard these bird of praise in the tar pits. 
um, probably next spec, uh, right next to the galley. Um, they had the bridge. We saw the bridge design in a couple of episodes of uh, ENT. Crew quarters, uh, very rough uh, places to sleep in. Um, I remember that. <laughs> okay, so that's it about the Klingon bird of prey, 22nd century. That's um, a close-up look at it. Thank you guys, and if you want to see the underbelly as well, I'll take it off. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You can see the weapons over there. So. Take care guys and we will see you soon in another video.